Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Stathopoulos, and I'm here today with my friends Ryan Javoir and Piravir Nermalin, and we're doing our Let's Play on League of Legends. League of Legends is a strategic, online multiplayer battle arena situated in real time. Published by Riot Games, League of Legends is a free-to-play video game on the personal computer. So what we're going to go ahead and do first is log ourselves in and analyze the menu, because there's a lot of talk about on that thing. So let's go ahead and log ourselves in. As you can see, I got my username already in there as AJ Staff. And uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is plug in that password, but not tell you what it is, because I use it every day. And we're logging in, and we're on. At the moment... The menu is showing us a few things. First, at the top right, deals with added skins, which are outfits an individual can place on their character, also known as the champion. Second, strategic tips that professional leaguers use when playing in a tournament to assist amateurs. And third, real-life League of Legends items you can purchase on their website, such as Teemo's Bunny plush toy for Easter. The next thing I'm going to show you all is the shop. The shop allows individuals to purchase a wide variety of champions and their outfits known as skins, as I previously mentioned. So I'll go ahead and show you all the champions and their skins. Now you may notice some are worth more than others, but that does not necessarily mean one champion is better than the other. It just simply means they cost a lot of money and not everyone can get them all because they're expensive, unfortunately. So one way an individual can purchase a champion is through a user's online winnings. After winning or losing a game, Users will earn what are known as influence points, IP points. This, of course, takes time to build up, especially if you lose games, which I don't. <laughs> if an individual wants to have access to a champion earlier, they can purchase Riot points, RP points, with real money that they can add onto their account, which I don't do. Riot points also allow you to purchase skins, which influence points cannot. At the moment, I have 10 Riot points and 1,142 influence points. So the next thing I'm going to show you is the, pro, um, the individual's profile. So here you'll be able to access uh, and see which league you're placed in online ranked, match history and statistics, champions that an individual possess, runes, masteries, as well as spells, which will go ahead and assist a char character online within the battle arena. Go ahead and let you take a look. Alright, and now we're going to go ahead and move back onto the main menu. So as you can see, I'm only level 16, so I'm still classified unworthy to fight against the gods and legends in the ranked arena. And what I'm doing here is selecting another personalized icon, which uh, assists with the personalization aspect of the game, which is, in my opinion, fairly weak. Alright, so let's go ahead and start up a game in the play menu, as you see here. So here users can play tutorials, play custom matches amongst friends, play online in multiple game modes such as 5 vs 5 on Summoner's Rift, 3 vs 3 on Twisted Tree Line, and ARAM which is one lane 5 vs 5. So you're able to join as a party and play with your friends or simply play solo like I'm going to be doing right now. Alright, and as you can see I have no friends. Now, because this is a let's play, and games are roughly 30 to 45 minutes in Summoner's Rift, which is the most popular arena, I'll play online with peers, but against computer-generated bots. So let's begin, hope we find a match soon. And we're just patiently waiting at the clock at the top, and we're in! Perfect. I'll go ahead and accept, and I'm in. Okay, so this is the pre-match loading screen, where teammates determine which champion they can be from their list that they purchased, as well as which lane to battle in and push forward to destroy their objective, which I'll explain during the battle. As you can see, I, Staffman, have quickly wrote top to show my peers that I want to fight in that lane instead of the middle or bottom. Each lane has champions that are better than others. That is why I selected Pantheon as my, top, as my champion, as he is a strong top lane character. Now, each character has their own special abilities, which will all be shown during live play. Spells are also significant as they give additional boosts and abilities to characters. For example, Heal will give you additional health, Ignite will allow users to deal additional damage to an enemy of champion, and Flash will allow you to quickly teleport you away from danger. For Pantheon, as well as the lane that I am in, I will use Ignite and Flash. Now this screen also allows users to select their skins for their character, which I don't have because, like I said before, I don't like spending the money. And finally, before we begin the battle, the final bit of loading to here is to see which champion our opponents have selected and the potential lane that they have selected. 
All right, so welcome to Summer's Rift, everyone. League of Legends' most popular arena, which is a five-on-five -five battle, which require, which it has a top, middle, and bottom lane. So the first thing I'll quickly do is explain Pantheon's abilities. So by upgrading Q, allows me to lock what is known as the Spear Shot. Now, because Pantheon is a close-range character, he doesn't have much distance. But by using the Spear Shot, it allows me to throw a spear to get individuals who are a little farther away from myself. Next is the Aegis of Zenonia, which allows me to pounce on a character to negate their attack as well as stun them. By using E, I can use I use the Heartseeker Strike, which allows me to use spears um, in a certain amount of space. So rather just one simple strike, and I can actually hit multiple at enemies at once or champions. And then finally, the Grand Skyfall, which is my level 6 ultimate, which allows me to pounce from jump in the sky or teleport from one area to another, and then pouncing on and jumping on a certain location in a certain radius that deals a significant amount of damage. So right now, I'm quickly in the shop, and I have gone ahead and purchased a longsword and some potions. So the longsword has allowed me to increase my damage, and potions allow me to increase some health over a small period of time. And the yellow thing I purchased is a ward, which I'll explain later. So in the shop, I can go ahead and either increase a in, uh, champion's health, increase their armor, increase their mana ability, because some char characters do require magic. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through Summoner's Rift. And specifically for Pantheon, what I'm going to do is go ahead and build them as a an increased uh, a fed character which deals more damage rather than individual um, focuses more on health or armor which is known as the tank so my, I was supposed to originally go through the top lane but I guess some of my um, fellow online individuals here as my teammates went ahead top for me so I guess I went through the middle so you see a couple of characters here these are um, individuals um, <laughs> little characters. They're known as minions. So each team will have their own minions. The blue ones are mine and the red ones are the enemy. And each of the three lanes will have their own and they push forward. Now essentially what happens is this. Both teams minions are and teams are trying to push forward to kill the enemy's tower which we'll go ahead and see here after I kill these minions. After killing these minions um, with my own minions um, if I get the final kill I get some increased value. I get coin for that which is 17, 17 coin for the small minions, and the ones with the canyons, I get 50. With these coins, I can go back to the shop and go ahead and increase, um, get stronger weapons or get more armor to increase my character's strength or armor. Specifically your Pantheon, where other characters may focus more on mana. Okay, so I went ahead and put a ward in there in the tall grass. So essentially what the ward does is allows individuals such teammate um, champions or players on my team to see what's in the grass. If there is no war in there and any champion can hide in that grass and sneak up on me and possibly um, kill me. So we're gonna go ahead and essentially the point of the game here is to push through your lane and destroy the tower. So me and my um, buddy over here we're gonna go ahead and take these minions out so we can go ahead and push forward to attack that tower once more. So each lane has three towers. By After killing the towers, you go ahead and destroy what is known as the inhibitor. By killing the inhibitor, um, allows stronger minions to um, come out, which deal more damage and have strong more health. And then after killing the inhibitor, a next set of towers will come, come to place where I then have to go ahead and kill the Nexus. By destroying the Nexus, which is the large crystal that you may have seen me by walking through at the beginning of um, Summoner's Rift, by killing that, I win the game. So now by pushing through the tower here, um, you see a little bit of a green, you see a green space. Um, I mean, so apologies, you do see a bit of a surrounding. Because this is, um, because this is a tutorial because I'm playing online with bots um, instead of online characters, the individuals are much easier, so they're giving me some guidelines because the match that I'm actually playing is for amateurs and beginners to the game. So, if, if I had minions, if I had my own minions in the tower itself, I can go ahead and attack that tower. If it was just me in the, in the tower um, and none of my minions, the tower would directly hit me and deal significant damage. So that's why you see me running away from the tower. And again, if there and also if there's a champion in there, and even though if I do have my own minions in there with other minions, the tower will still attack me because of the enemy champion. And I just want to go ahead and run away here and uh, show you some of the jungle. So I'm going to go ahead and kill these birds here. 
Um, within the jungle itself, there are creatures. Um, such creatures will give you coins as well as additional abilities. There are stronger um, creatures um, or monsters within the jungle that do give you um, significant abilities as well as damage. So I should kill him here. My teammate gave me some additional health by using one of his healing abilities. And I use some of my potions. So I will get him here. And then I'm going to go ahead and recall back to my base. So before recalling back to base, I just want to show everyone one more monster. This is known as the Red Brambleback. After killing the Red Brambleback, a champion will go ahead and get an additional buff and um, more attack power. In a sense that when I use basic attacks on other champions, it will slow them down. Um, as well as my damage will be stronger um, for a short period of time. Now by pressing B I get to recall back to base and I can do this from anywhere on the map. However, if I get hit within those 8 seconds, it gets negated. So once I get back to base, my health can go ahead and regenerate as well as my, as well as my mana and I can purchase additional items from the winnings I got from the coin I got from the minions I killed. So after recalling to uh, base for the first time and regenerating my health and mana, me and my teammate here are going to push this lane with our minions, try to take out this enemy champion. Oh, what a spear shot, as well as the tower. So we're pushing forward. The enemy champion is trying to recall, but my teammate uses his flash, gets the kill, avoids the danger, and earns 100 coins for himself. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and explain how individuals communicate on League. So one way is through um, going ahead and using the general type, um, you know, chat board I've seen at the bottom left. However, by clicking G and dragging on any place on the screen, um, pins will pop up, and you see four of them here. By using any of these pins, it'll be indicated on the mini map at the bottom right of the screen. So there are four pins, um, pings, pings. Sorry, that individuals can use. The red ping with the exclamation mark indicates danger. The downwards arrow indicates that you're on your way. The, the flag indicates for assistance. The blue flag indicates for assistance. And the yellow um, question mark indicates that an opponent is missing. They can be in the jungle, back at their base, and essentially it's anywhere on the map that you can't see. Um, because uh, where there is black on the mini map. So, because I'm low on mana here, as seen, as seen on my abilities with all the blue, um, as well as the water, indicating which is, which is mana, I'm going to go ahead and recall it back to base and uh, get my mana, generate some health. And because I'm level 7 now, I have earned the, um, the right to use my ultimate, the Grand Skyfall, which allows me to teleport from one, dist one spot to another in um, a certain parameter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Uh, right now I'll show you. Went ahead and purchased my Black Cleaver, which is an essential weapon for Pantheon to increase my health damage and armor. Okay, so I went ahead and chatted to my fellow teammates here to go ahead and push the lane. And I want to go ahead and show you guys this uh, ultimate right now. So, click the space bar. I'm in the parameter as seen by the blue line pushing forward. And I'm jumping in the air. And there is some time for it to drop. And I fall right on to the opponent, the cha other champion, and deal damage to his minions as well as himself. Let's see if we can get this kill. But of course, like every online video game, your teammate always takes your kills and the money you deserve. Standard. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and show you some gameplay. I'm going to stop talking. A lot of this work is tedious. You'll go ahead and see me push forward. And as well as I also want to show you and take this tower. And I want to go ahead and show you some parts of the jungle and um, go ahead and explore Summer, Summer's Rift for what it is. So I'll go ahead and stop talking and go ahead and enjoy the visuals and enjoy the gameplay.
All right, and I'm back to finish this game off, so let's finish this. That's one kill. That's two. Another one. Come on, I gotta get one more. Another one! Oh, if I get four. Come on, give me the quad. Oh, Speaker HD takes it. Come on, give me this one at least. And another one for him. So, we're gonna go ahead and um, hit this game a little quick here. I know, although we're facing bots, um, still kind of get excited when getting some kills. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and kill the inhibitor, and like I said before, um, when you kill the in when you destroy kill, when you destroy the inhibitor, your minions become stronger, and making you um, allowing um, champions to push down which lane. Um, as there are three inhibitors, when I kill the middle one, the strongest, the stronger minions will push through the middle. So I'm just went ahead and retreated there quickly and uh, came back into the action. So the two towers defending the nexus, um, we destroyed one of them, and we'll go ahead and um, destroy another. When you kill a champion, how, uh, when you kill a champion and levels progress, um, after you die, it actually takes a longer time to respawn. It takes some time to respawn. So the higher level, um, the longer it takes for you to respawn after you after you die. Um, the earlier you die, I'm going to show you how it looks when you pass away here. So I went ahead and died. All their enemy champions are dead. And as you see at the top bottom right above the mini map, you see all the time counting down. As you can see, I'm at nine. Eight, seven, and um, while you're dead, actually, you can go ahead and um, purchase still from the shop. I'm going to try to get in there to finish off this game, but we'll go ahead and show the action from the, um, the other individuals playing online here while they destroy the Nexus. And as you can see, the bigger minions there uh, pounding away with their shields and uh, Berserker Bashers, I don't know what they're called. And uh, there you go. Once you destroy the Nexus, we're going to go ahead and get the big victory here, the big W. No L's taken. Even though we're playing on uh, easy bots, that's all right. We'll still take the win. And uh, now this is the um, the ending screen here to show like the match highlights and match highlights and just some statistics and showing how many um, kills each champion got, how many deaths, and how many assists. Because even though you do attack an individual a champion, you still get assists. So we had 57 kills, 10 deaths, and 41 assists. Here it also shows um, how much experience you earned, how much uh, influence points you've got, got, and then all the different um, wins, I'm sorry, how many kills you got, how many deaths every individual's kills, every individual's deaths, every individual user's um, assists. And then you can go ahead and talk on the right, um, and there's another keyboard here, and I said like I did this presentation, um, I played this league game for my Let's Play, so I got some positive feedback, got some love from Speaker HD. And just quickly wrap up here with some just some statistic charts. I'll let you go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. Graph and then determining how many kills. It's all customizable. So this is how many champion kills I got. So I, I ended with 16. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed our presentation. This concludes our Let's Play. Um, and we're going to go ahead and finalize our presentation with a talk about the games of the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much.